I'm Billy. Ma'd never say who my father was, so I don't got no last name. She gave me this medallion before I could talk. It's engraved with a candlestick, so that's what the kids call me. Candle. Beats spick or pepper gut. Yeah, my ma's from Mexico. The town I grew up in is just over the border, and the folks there are mostly white. Like my stepfather, Thomas. A big, mean son of a bitch who just as soon backhand me as look at me. I grew up in a town called Hope. <laughs> Pretty much the most hopeless place I've ever seen. It's full of drunks and drifters and thieves and liars. And those are the leading citizens. Like my dear stepfather, who knocked the tar out of me at least once a day, rain or shine. He said he was teaching me how to be a man, but all he taught me is how to take a beating. Last time he laid a hand on me was over two years ago. I took off and didn't look back. Left to find my fortune. <laughs> Legendary Colt of Juarez. Wanted to prove to that SOB that I could be more than he ever was. But the world's a hard place. I didn't find squat. Did meet a girl, though. Molly. Damn, she was pretty. It didn't work out, though. Her dad saw to that. So now I'm back. Hungry. Broke. I don't have nothing. Not even a last name. Outlaws, assholes, and hypocrites. Jones Cabin. Good place to practice some shooting. What the heck are you doing? This is private property. Okay, okay, easy. Get out. 
Get off my property. Hey, you wouldn't shoot old Jones, would you? I got nothing against you. We don't need no trouble now. I'm here to see the one person on earth who ever gave a damn about me. My ma. Other than my stepfather, there's three some bitches in particular I hope to avoid. Tim Powell, our sheriff. My, my. Billy Candle. Been a long time, boy. Sheriff. I don't think Thomas will be too pleased to see you. You come back to set things right with him? I'm just here to see my ma. Well, before you go out there, I think you better give me your gun. Hand it over. But, Sheriff. Drop it, boy. Fine. Welcome back. Just don't do anything stupid, son. I'm not your son. Thank God for that, boy. Thank God for that. I just got to town and the sheriff's already on my ass. Son of a bitch. Damn, I gotta get myself a gun. Billy Candle, is that you? Boy, you're growing like a weed. Stand still. Let me take a measure. Hmm. Just in case. You want to see me plant it already? Well, now. Looks like you're as tall as Reverend Ray. Look at those hombres. They look like trouble. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Susie. She keeps a gun in her drawers. I'm pissed at you, Billy. Here in town and you don't come to see your old friend, Susie? Hey! I just got in! I was planning on coming by. <laughs> yeah, right. Billy's planning things now. Get your skinny butt up here before I change my mind. So far, so good. Don't see no sign of that SOB, Forrester. What the hell are you looking at? Uh-oh. Billy the Spick. Where you think you're going, boy? 
hope you don't think you're getting lucky. <laughs> Not unless you've got some money. Relax, Clyde. I'm just here to say hello. Your balls will be saying hello to my boot in a second, boy. You want a piece of Susie, you gotta pay, muchacho. Busted, huh? Should have known. Thought you were gonna find the gold of Juarez. Well, maybe you can find a rope to get your ass through this window. But don't raise a ruckus. I must be out of my mind. Just fine. Susie. Shh. Wait here. I'll be back in a minute. I want to make sure Clyde is occupied. In the meantime, why don't you wash off some of that trail dust? All right. Where the hell's that Derringer? Not loaded. Damn it, Susie, where do you keep the bullets? Glad's occupied with Joanne, so we got some time to get reacquainted. But, but we best keep our voices down, darling. So you never found the family jewels? Maybe I can help. Oh my, you have grown. Thought I heard you in here. You got an itch that needs scratching, boy? How about you let old Clyde take care of it? You're not getting away that easy! A half hour with Susie for anybody who can get his hands on that little greaser! I'd skin that boy alive for a taste of that little trollop.
He's here! Like we found you. Anybody who can get his hands on that little greaser. I'd skin that boy alive for a taste of that little trollop. We found
This is Crazy Frank's place. Lost his mind in the war. He's half a bubble off plum. Nuttier than a bed bug. If someone in this town has ammo, it's Crazy Frank. Look, Lucy, it's Billy. Well, boy, did you find the gold? There is no gold. The gold of Juarez. It's a fairy tale, okay? It don't exist. Right, I get it. Mom's the word. You want to take what's mine? One more step and Lucy will blow your head clean off. What do you want to do with this little thief? Me and Lucy, we shot men, women, and children. So we sure as hell can shoot a lowlife like you. Take that, you bastard. Uh. Get back here. We got him on the run, Lucy. Lucy, look at him. Oh, crazy old coot. Take what's mine, one more step and Lucy will blow your head clean off. What do you want to do with this little thief? Me and Lucy, we shot men, women, and children. So we sure as hell can shoot a lowlife like you. Take that, you bastard. Mom's cooking dinner right now. Baking biscuits, making stew. I can almost smell it. Ah! Thomas! 
You get away from her, you bastard! You hear me? I'll kill you! It is on this Sabbath day in this empty church that I pray to thee. What am I to do not to lose faith in the people of this town? Please, God, give me the strength to lead these sinners to righteousness. Last night, the demons of my past visited me in a nightmare. What are you trying to tell me, Lord? That the citizens of hope are descending into darkness just as I was once, trapped in the shadows of Satan's embrace? I personally invited every last soul in town to today's service. I will bring them your word, Lord. I will show them the way. It is indeed disappointing that your fellow citizens prefer the pleasures of the flesh to the spiritual salvation offered by this sanctuary. In vain has the voice from heaven said of the whore of Babylon, Come forth, my people, out of here, that ye have no fellowship with her sins, and that ye receive not her plagues. And what exactly would they be receiving here, Padre? Insults? Rebukes? Life's too damn short to spend it listening to self-righteous sons of bitches like you. Free round of drinks for anyone who wants to follow me back to my saloon. Clyde Forrester, is that what you came here for? How dare you turn my flock away from the light? If it wasn't for sinners like me, you'd be out of a job, Padre. You can't save them if I don't tempt them. Enough, you snake! Get out of my sight! I know all about you, Father, so don't go getting all high and mighty with me. You're no better Get than a- Get out of this sanctuary! Lo, I come quickly, saith the Lord, and my reward is with me, to render each as his work shall be. Reverend! Reverend Ray, I heard gunshots at your brother's farm! What? That bastard child will burn in hell! I saw Billy in town. Saw him going into the saloon. And the smoke of their torment goeth up forever and ever. And there was given to the beast mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies.
Measure ye meet, it shall be measured unto you, and more shall be given unto you. Given you come back here. him. Oh, these hyenas have no respect for anything. They're no better than dogs. I came. What are you doing? Have you no shame? Reverend Rye, I came when I heard the gunshots. We need to get the sheriff. And you. How dare you steal from the dead? What the hell do they need it for? Besides, half the town is going to be all over this place in two Get shows. out of here! Out! Or I swear right. to God! Fine, I'm going. But this ain't over. Out! Get out of here! For what? You gonna send me to hell? Clyde says you're hardly a man of God. He says... Enough!
For 20 years, I followed the light and denounced the darkness. Day in and day out, I labored to save lost souls. All for you, Lord. So why? Why have you forsaken me? How could you let this happen? Help me, Lord, please. Tell me, what do you want from me? That bastard child's been a burden on this earth since the day he was born. Shiftless, no account coward. How dare he end a life as righteous as my brother's? If I could, I would kill him. Lord, is that what you want from me? To be your sword? I've spent 20 years preaching to hyenas and wolves, but maybe there are some who are beyond redemption. Is that what you're telling me, Lord? To destroy those who cannot be saved? Is that what you want? Then that is how I will serve you. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am Jehovah when I lay my punishment upon them. It's time to dust off some old compadres. Whew, haven't laid eyes on these equalizers in 20 years. How many lives did they take? No matter. This time they won't be tools of Satan. This time we'll be guided by the light of the Lord. What are you up to, Reverend? I'm going to find Billy. You're not the law, Ray. You need to let the law handle this. I represent a higher law, God's law. Ray, just listen to me. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go and pour out the seven bowls of the fury of God upon the earth. You've gone berserk, Ray. You're not going nowhere. Give me those hog legs. That's right. Lock him up, Tim. Man's I a mess. I say, hang him. Enough! I'll lock all of you up if you don't shut your gaps. Give me your weapons, McCall. Don't... No! Oh, my God! Uh, they shot Tim! And the murderers and the idolaters. And every one of them that loveth and maketh.
What now, Padre? Reverend, why'd you stir him up like that? You got them all crazy here now. They killed my Tim. They're heading for jail to free their friends. Can get more guns? Here, take this key. Now that Tim's gone, you're the only chance we have.
What now, padre?
I knew this day would come, Padre. I knew that one day you'd show this town your true colors. You think you're better than me? We're two sides of the same coin, Ray. I'm glad you're finally here, because today is the last time you get in my way. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that cometh up out of the abyss shall make war with them and overcome them. You are. I know who you And were. there was given to the beast a mouth, saying great lies and You self-righteous son of a whore! You think heaven wants anything to do with you? You're going to hell, and I'm gonna send you there. No. Babylon the Great has fallen. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Today is the holy seventh day. 
You didn't want to come to the Lord, so he sent down upon you the fire and a heavenly sword. Take heed what I say, for if you won't listen, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment. The Lord has made me his right hand, his judge, his jury, and his executioner. So, Billy, beware, boy, for I bring the wrath of God. Gotta run. No matter if I kill somebody or not, they'll hang me anyway. I can hear the hounds. Jesus Christ, get a grip of yourself. Mexico would be the safest bet, but the road leads straight through Juarez. I'd have to be crazy to go anywhere near that place. But wait, wait a minute. What about the mine near Black River? A train passes right by there. I could jump on it and hitch a ride to San Jose. Molly's there. The one person in the world I can trust. This place looks familiar. If the train comes by on the left, I'll know for sure where I am. Renegades, probably. Son of a bitch. There's the bridge and the entrance to the mine. About a mile to go. Maybe I can make it before the storm. What the hell are they doing there? Plundering the mine? If they spot me, I'm a goner.
shut up. You'll bring the whole damn mountain down. Can you see the train? I can't see a damn thing. I hope Ned knows what he's doing. This stick had better be worth it. Stick? Son of a bitch. These hombres are out. All you're doing is sitting on it. He told us to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Hold on. What? Shut the hell up. I heard something. Yeah, probably just the wind. coming in. I can see the lightning. Remember that storm in 67? A bolt of lightning struck Rodriguez and fried the son of a bitch to a crisp. Do you ever shut up? Look at that lightning. It's gonna hit a tree and set this whole forest on fire. I'm going to hit you in the huevos if you don't shut the hell up. Whole damn forest. Shut it! See it by now. I'm coming! Hey, don't go falling asleep. You'll get hit by lightning and end up like Rodriguez. Better view from there. Where? Look. See anything? It's pretty dark. Damn this weather. Maybe it's running late. And? And I don't know. So they're waiting for the train too? How much longer are we gonna Man have? Said. You know what he said? That I'm cheating. 
and I looked at that turd, and I said, huh? Like, I don't have no clue. And you know what I told them, Eli? I said, Eli, Eli, where the hell did you get to? Wait. Jesus Christ, it's colder than a witch's tit out here. Why aren't we in the mine, anyway? Because it's all coming down in there. You want to end up like O'Neill? O'Neill worked in the mine? No, but he got whacked in the head with a two-by-four and ended up a retard. Yeah, he was always a retard. But never hey. mind. Someone just take a leak? You think they could take a longer walk before they relieve themselves? A longer walk where? Out in the woods? I don't want some coyote biting off my nutsack. How would a coyote even find your tiny little nutsack? There's not just coyotes. Coyotes, hyenas, bobcats, cougars. Maybe that's what's doing all the pissing. What are they waiting for? It's colder than hell out here.
hell out of here. What is that stench? Scanlan's so scared he pissed his pants. You piss your pants. Shut up. What's wrong? This bridge might not hold up. The wind's too strong. Damn it, Rank. Fetch the ropes. Wait for us.
losing my Agua Cat. Probably a coyote. I made it. All right. All I have to do now is wait for the train. How do I stop these hombres? It's too late to go back now. Guess I'll just have to hold them back the best I can.
the storm is coming. I can hear the thunder. Dark days for humankind are drawing near. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? I am your sword now, O Lord, and your will will be done. Hmm. I've been chasing that boy for days now. Took me some time to find his trail because he didn't run for the border as I was sure he would. Instead, he headed west. He's probably sitting out the storm in the Black River Mine. <laughs> Years ago, I did the same. I know every inch of those tunnels, and if he is down there, I will find him. Best you worry about the guards, not them. They're stone cold killers on the teeth. We got them outnumbered and outgunned. Unless half us freeze to death waiting on that goddamn train.
Catch this, you son of a bitch!
bit of peace, Padre. For a preacher, you sure don't seem too damn peace.
bastard. He got away. dead. Preacher couldn't have done it all by himself. That's just not possible. For all they that take the sword shall perish by the sword. They call me Ned the Plague, because I bring death wherever I go. What I want to know is, who the hell are you? I am the right hand of God. I don't care whose hand you are. Fill it, you son of a bitch! Absolved and kindred soul. The soul of a murderer. The Lord can hear you. Speak your mind, son. I'm. The train will be robbed. On the bridge. They'll blow up the track. Hurry. Shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Let all those who carry the mark of the beast cower in terror, for I will come for them as I follow the murderer's trail. Are you there, Billy Candle? Are you there, you son of the devil? I'm coming for you, and I bring hell onto thee. Gunshots. I must hurry. What's going on there? The tree. We're fending them off, but... We won't hold much longer. Have you seen a man on the roof of the train? Uh, get help. <sighs> What's going on there? The train. Where are you at, soldier? We just want your jacket. Yep, and them boots of yours, too. Hey, cabrón.
You pay for this, you son of a bitch! Sheriff! Sheriff's coming! And the smoke of their torment goeth up forever and ever. I came not to send peace, but a sword.
in. Save us, please.
dead man. We won't shoot yet. Go to the lieutenant. Lieutenant Matthew Parker, sir. We tried to smash through, but there's suppressive fire. Those sons of bitches are taking us out like ten ducks in a shooting gallery. They set up a barricade outside. I sent some men with a powder keg to blow it all to hell. We'll be attacking shortly. They're dead. How? Damn it. Now what do we do? I'll take the keg and blow up the barricades. You secure the carriages. All right, I'll send two men to cover you. Smith, Cole, yes, sir. get your asses on that hilltop and make some noise. We're counting on you, Father. on you, Father.
is alive. Thank you. Counting on you, Father. Don't forget the kick, Preacher. Go on, we don't have much time.
she gets it, by the way. There's a barricade outside. It separates the passengers from the soldiers. Can I just shoot it open? Yeah, from the outside. You need to shoot the bar off the door. How do I do that? Why on a damn bridge? You can do it. Just listen. There's a rock ledge on the right hand side. And you'll have a clear shot at the train from there. Take. Shoot that damn bar. Did you see anyone on the roof before the attack started? You hear me? Oh. You're in a better place now, son. Rest in peace. is clear.
bless you, Master. The engineer's alive. Thank you. those outlaws. They got what they deserved. The bastards took out the tracks on the bridge. It's a hard turn, so we always slow down now. Did you see anyone on the roof before the attack? On the roof? Yeah. I saw someone, all right. The soldiers went up after him and started shooting. Then we drove into the... What happened to him? The fellow on the roof. He ran away. I think he was wounded. Looked like he was heading south. There's farms not two miles from here. Thank you. May God be with you. You're leaving us? What if they come back? We got the payroll for the whole damn railroad in here. Stay. You'll get a reward. Gold. Gold? For the love of money is the root of all evil. And some whose hearts were fixed on it have been turned away from the faith and been wounded with unnumbered sorrows. The sinner I'm after has already slaughtered one fine family. Now I need to bring him to justice. They'll be asking about you. What do you want me to say? Tell them that I'm a missionary. Hey, preacher, you hear me? Preacher, you hadn't finished your work yet. Listen, there's a lot of money here. Let's split it up, all right? You killed a hell of a lot of people today. You ain't that much of a saint, are you? You turning me down? Or maybe you just want it all for yourself. Over my dead body, you hear? We'll settle this together, here and now. That was Ray, Reverend Ray, right there on that cliff, looking at me like death himself. He's crazy. That asshole won't rest till I'm dead and buried. I gotta find a horse or he'll catch up with me. Still a few miles to the ranch and I think I sprained my damn ankle. The soldiers almost had me. I wouldn't have gotten away at all if all hell hadn't broken loose. I gotta find Molly. Molly will believe me. Her dad won't, though. Ferguson hired me to work his spread and fired me when he found out what was going on between me and his precious daughter. I guess he didn't like the idea of a Mexican in the family. It's not like he's so damn pure. A man don't get that much land without stepping on some toes. I saw him dealing with all sorts of unsavory characters.
need to find a horse or a log or something. This ranch looks like a damn fort. Is this Indian country? Stupid. 
stupid woman. I need a saddle.
hatches. Renegades, probably. Son of a bitch. Renegades, probably. Patches. Renegades, probably. Patches.
Why would I shoot a dead man? A few more miles and I'll be seeing her pretty face. She didn't judge me, and I didn't judge her. We just saw each other for who we were. Not her father, though. Her father just couldn't get past the color of my skin. This is gonna be tough. Can't let anyone see me, except Molly. Otherwise, I'm gonna get a very unfriendly welcome. Chat was the ranch foreman and Ferguson's lackey. He was always hitting on Molly and didn't like the fact that she had eyes for me. One day, he saw us behind the stables and ran to Ferguson. I only ever kissed her, never did nothing else. But her old man didn't care. He was fit to be tied and fired my ass and told Chat to escort me off the property. Those guys threw me a goodbye party. They beat the tar out of me, tied me to a horse and dragged me half a mile. Chat told me if I ever laid eyes on Molly again, he'd cut him right out of my head. So I don't think I better run into those fellas. Sure, how many? I told you, all of them. Well, that's what you said last time. You're like a goddamn nagging wife, you know that?
Time Ferguson will finish you for good. Hurricane had to be locked up again. Hey! Someone is here! A thief! Hurricane had to be locked up again. Now that horse is loco. Don't know why the old man didn't just put him down. He's a man killer.
my darn. Oh my darn. Oh my darn. And Clementine. My darling Clementine. Look what you did. You riled Hurricane again. Don't take much. Well, I could use Horses a nap right temper right as bad now. as chats. Hey, Ed. Have you been to the pilots yet? Yep. Have you seen that new horror trickster? Biggest knockers north of the Rio Grande. I'm taking this week's pay and getting myself some of that. I haven't had my ashes hauled in a coon's age. Life is like a wrinkle. Everyone's having their turn with that stuff. Even Dirty Dave. Dirty Dave? Son of a bitch, I hadn't had a bath since Grant marched into Richmond. Chat, I don't have no quarrel with you. I'm just here to see Molly. Fine. Let's settle this then. Fair fight. If you win, she's all yours. If you don't... I, I don't want to fight. I, I just need to see Molly. Well then fight me, you lily-livered son of a bitch. If you win, the boys will leave you be. 
But that's the only way in hell you're gonna see her. Chat. Now we got some unsettled business here. We need to talk. Leave, all of you. Ah, oh, Molly. Leave. Please. Billy, what's wrong? What are you doing here? My parents are dead. Murdered. And everybody thinks I did it. Murdered? Th they were dead when I got there. Slaughtered. My ma was laying there and all, and the reverend came running and saw me, and everybody started shooting, so I, I ran. What do you want me to do? Help me. How? What can I do? Pilly, you shouldn't have run. You should have told him the truth. You think they'd believe me? They made up their minds, and nothing I can say is ever going to change that. You don't know that. You never thought you'd beat Chet, but you did. You got to trust yourself a little bit. You gotta trust that others are gonna see the good in you. What the hell are you doing back here? Mr. Ferguson! Molly! Dad, stop it! You always taught me that the only important thing about a person is what's in his heart. Well, I'm in Billy's heart and he's in mine, and if you care about me at all, you leave him be! The only reason you're walking out of here alive is because of my daughter. But Billy, I swear to God, if I ever see you again, I will take your life. Now you get the hell out of here and you never come back. You're letting him go? Shut up, chat. He beat you fair, so you got no say in this. See the angels of death. They're gazing down upon me. They must be guiding me because I found the boy's trail swiftly. He's heading towards inhabited areas. He must be in despair. He has to know the end is near. By his tracks, I can see he's limping, hurt, wounded, and armed. Indeed, I must make haste. No time to rest. And there was given to the beast a mouth, speaking great angels of death. And the smoke of their torment goeth up forever and ever.
down there. Who the hell are you? I'm the Lord's Wrath, and in my hand I carry his sword. I'm looking for a young boy named Billy. Billy Candle? Are you looking for... Ty. I'm Tom Manson. This here is Ty Stewart. And these are the McClyde brothers. We're Texas Rangers. And we got a warrant out for the boy's arrest. We believe he's there on that ranch working with a gang of rustlers led by a man named Ferguson. We're right about to bring some hell down on him. I hear Ferguson has a girl. Young and pretty and, uh... Shut it, McClyde. Padre, if you know how to use them hog legs, we can use any help we can get. Let's move! I heard tell of a man who wore armor like yours. They said that seeing him was like looking into death's very eyes. Well, he wasn't a man of God, though. Yeah, quite the opposite. So by now, he's, he's probably pushing up daisies. me off. Behind you! 
Where is he? with Molly. I'll kill you.
against the world for their and the wicked for their equality. Time to meet your maker, boy. No! What are they doing? Where's the boy? The river took him. What's all this then? Search the river banks. We had an accident inside. Padre, we thought you were dead. What's going on here? Might as well tell him. Oh, we're not rangers, Reverend. But we're looking for the boy just like you. So why did you lie to me? Well, because it suited our purpose. But now we don't need you no more. What is happening here? They took my daughter. God! They said you were a rustler. A rustler? I'm a ranger. This is my home. Please, don't let them hurt her. But they're headed for the river. You're gonna need a horse to get there in time. Don't let them get away. What have I done, Lord? Do righteous men are dead because of my blindness and arrogance. I killed Billy in your name, too. Was I wrong, Lord? Was he telling me the truth? Was he innocent as well? I'll save you, child. I'll make amends, Lord, whatever it takes. I promise you. There is one candle, but three graves. The gold of Juarez belongs only to the brave. This medallion is for you, Mija. I want you to wear it always. Put it on over your corazón. The candle engraved upon it will light your path and protect you from evil. Ma? Calm yourself. Rest easy. Where am I? Tewakpa. The river swept you away. The river? It almost took you. Reverend Ray? Boakishni, you can't help anyone now. You must rest now. Nishtima, sleep. My medallion. I lost it. 
Ma, so sorry. How long have I been here? Ewanagisicha, the bad spirit left in the night. Calm water watched over you. Yeah, listen, I know you saved my life, and I'm grateful. But if you took my medallion, you gotta give it back to me. Please. I stole nothing from you. Hewakpa, the river, probably took it in return for your life. Look, someone's after me, so I can't stay here. Thank you. Hewakpa, the river brought you to me for a reason. It's not time for you to go yet. What are you talking about? Mashtinchalayamini. Three rabbits. Mashtinchalayamini wachi. Calm water wants three rabbits. Rabbits? For saving my life? Fine. Three rabbits. Where are my sidearms? You must use itazipa nawahinkpe. Bow and arrow. It is good to show proper respect to your prey. You can take my horse if you like. Calm water will wait. Where the heck's this calm water you keep talking about? It is here. Miacha, it is I. I can't believe he's making me use this damn bow. Son of a bitch.
Yes, very good. The Wakpa helps those who help themselves. Let you come closer, Billy Kendall. Nawahunyelo. Come water will hear your story. You know the rest. I gotta get the hell out of Texas. Nawapehu. Escape? Why not face your accusers and confront them? What? Fight them? Reverend Ray? You gotta be kidding me. You must face your fears, or they will defeat you. If you refuse to fight the current, you will be forever helpless. What the hell are you talking about? Juarez. What? You must find out who killed your parents. How the hell am I supposed to do that? The river aids those who aren't afraid. You don't understand. I don't have a chance. They'll kill me. Not everyone can bring back Weakatawambali, the feather from the eagle's nest. Would you like to try? Me? <laughs> bring back an eagle's feather? The nest is at the top of Eagle Mountain. Where? At the Heble, in the middle of the lake, high in the forest, he at a rock. A sacred eagle's nest sits atop. Climb it and retrieve a feather. Prove to Wakpa the river. You, Kukikpashni, are not afraid. You want an eagle's feather? Fine, I'll get you one. But I don't need to prove nothing to nobody. You must leave the bow and go unarmed. Ohitika, bring only your courage.
Hello, boy. Darkness. It's all around me. The light that has led me has deserted me. Did it ever exist? I'm on the kidnapper's trail. There's nothing else left. They are traveling down the river by raft, and they seldom break to camp. In a few miles, the river flows into a canyon and changes into white water. There's a smuggler's trail there leading all the way to Mexico. They have to make landfall. When they do, I will be there. It's my only chance to see.
he's already dead.
I'm tired of looking over my shoulder for you, Padre. It's time to begin. Where's the girl? I know who you are. I recognized you the moment I saw you. Only one man alive has a huevos to wear armor like that. Who do you think you are? A knight in shining armor, slaying dragons and saving fair damsels? Your day is done, old man. Your time has come. You've had a good run, but now it's my turn. Draw your weapon. Have they taken that girl? Today you'll stand in front of the Almighty, facing your judgment. So you better talk while you still can, you low life son of a bitch. Where have they taken that girl? War Juarez. Juarez? Do you know who killed Billy's parents? Do you know? Killed my brother. War is. Speak! You hear me? Tell me! War is. Hmm? So, all the events have come full circle. Is that what you wanted, Lord? Very well. To war is. There is one candle, but three graves. The gold of Juarez belongs only to the brave. This medallion is for you, my darling. I want you to wear it always. Put it on over your corazón. The candle engraved upon it will light your path and protect you from evil. There's only one candle, but three graves. In the first grave, a bad man sleeps. He might wake up, so... In the second one, a rich man, the heart of stone, slumbers. For him, the gift will not be enough. In the third grave, a beggar lays. You need to light the candle for him. Because a little warmth means a lot to a poor man. He'll give you the gold because the poor are always more generous than the rich. There is one candle, but three graves. The gold of Juarez belongs only to the brave. Calm water? Oh, where am I? Was I dreaming? Do I have to do everything myself? I told you what I need. I'm sure the boy knows where it is. He probably just hid it somewhere. We'll find it. We better find it, Bubbles. Sorry about the rough stuff. Sometimes Manson can be a little overly, um, enthusiastic. Who are you? Don't you see the resemblance, muchacho? I'm your padre. What? Seventeen years ago, your mama ran off with another man. You were still in her womb. My only son. My pride and joy. I've been searching for you ever since. So you have my mother killed? Of course not. What kind of man do you think I am? Her husband started shooting, and my men had to defend themselves. Your poor mama got caught in the crossfire. So you're my... my father? That's right, Mio. They call me Juarez, because that is where I'm from. Juarez. See, that's where we are. 
in my Alcazar, just outside the city. Once we get our hands on the gold, we'll be the most powerful family in northern Mexico. Just give me the medallion and the future is ours. The medallion? Why? Don't play games with me, mijo. I know your mother gave it to you. I don't have it. I, I lost it in the river. You're my son. Together, we'll rule all of Juarez. But first, you must give me the medallion. I told you, I don't know. <clears throat> I gave you life, and I can take it away. Tell me where it is. I don't have it. Ah! Do you think I'm stupid? Is that what you think? You tell me what I need to know, or I will end you right here. The medallion is the key, the key to where the gold is buried. It's a riddle and a mystery, but I knew eventually that I would find it. But then your mama, that puta, stole it from me. Ah! And made off with her lover, a gringo, and nobody. She took what was mine, and for that there is no forgiveness. <clears throat> for 17 years, I've been looking for you. 17 years! Ah! What? It hurts. This is nothing. These are love taps. Tell me where the medallion is, or you will wish you were never born. <clears throat> where? <clears throat> ah, ah. Everything I did for you! <clears throat> First your mother! <clears throat> then for you! <clears throat> you better speak, Chilito! <clears throat> Talk! <clears throat> ah, ah. I don't give up. You will fetch me that medallion or else. Tom! <gasps> Recognize her. Her padre wasn't so lucky. Molly. No. I don't care where it is. You just bring it back to me. Or I will give her to the men for their amusement. She will suffer a very sad end. You've got some time till sundown. Don't show up here without the medallion. You've got until sundown. Wanna do a little business? I'll give you a hundred pesos to bury my father. But the funeral has to be primera classe. Well? Aren't you going to say something? Like what? A few words from my father. I'm not a priest. You want the hundred pesos or not? All right. Dear uh, Lord, uh, we are here today to honor, uh, what was his name? Arturo. Arturo, a good man, a kind man, a dead man. We bid him farewell. Keep Antonio. Arturo. Arturo, forever in our hearts and in this box, amen. All right, I buried Armando. <sighs> Arturo. Right, so where's my money? I'd like to give you the hundred pesos, but I don't have a hundred pesos. Well, how many pesos do you have? None. Did you really think a little boy like me would have a hundred pesos? The only thing I have and can give you is this key to the sacristia in the abandoned church. 
You'll probably find something or something there. Oh, and Signor, remember for the future, a poor man will always offer you more than a rich man. Win for losing. Three tombs. Hold on. There's one candle, but three graves. Where to light it? How did it go? God. The openings in the crosses are shaped like my medallion. In the second one, a rich man with a heart of stone slumbers. For him, the gift will not be enough. In the first grave, a bad man sleeps. Might wake up. Shh. In the third grave, a poor man lays. He'll light a candle for him. Because a little warmth means a lot to a poor man. He'll give you the gold. Because the poor are always more generous. Gold. How did it look? I can almost see it in my mind's eye. That stone over there, it fits. There's the entrance. The poor are always more generous. No way, I can't move it this way. It's too heavy.
Welcome, amigo. You've managed to pass through.
one candle, three graves. The gold of Juarez belongs only to the brave. Chocho for himself. For now. But when he gets tired of her. Look. Over there. Who the hell is. Hey, you, hey!
my way. Fine. I waited so many years, and now it's mine. I knew you'd find your way to the gold, so I followed you. Why? Why did you lie to me? I never lied. You betrayed me, just like your mother. And now you'll die, just like she did, on her knees. I'll kill you. Ray? It's all right, boy. I misjudged you, and for that I am truly sorry. The Lord is clearly on your side. Otherwise, you wouldn't still be alive. They got Molly. Yeah, because of me. But I'm gonna remedy that right now. You go hide yourself. I wanna help. No. Oh, no, no. This is my business now. I have to make amends and seek forgiveness for my arrogance. You get yourself to safety. God has told me to rescue this girl and punish those who took her. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that cometh up out of the abyss shall make war with them and overcome them and kill them.
Preacher! Who are you? I'm the Lord's right hand. And I'm here to send you to hell. A lot of people have tried, Padre. But as you can see, I'm still standing. You really think you can kill Juarez? Juarez? You're the man who had my brother murdered. Your brother stole my wife, Padre, so he had it coming. Now you want to take what's mine? I don't think so, cabron. I think it's time for you to die. I've still got the girl. If Drew or that boy doesn't bring me the gold, that girl will die a slow and terrible death. We will take her and torture her and burn her alive. You hear me, Padre? The gold for the girl. You've got till noon. Thomas and I had a younger brother, William. Ah, he was the best of us, a man of faith. We were running cattle over the border from El Paso and would spend time in a little cantina in San Lorenzo. That's where I first laid eyes on Marissa. Oh, I knew she belonged to Juarez, but I wanted her for mine. Marissa had other ideas, though. She was in love with Thomas. 
They ran off together, and I tracked them to these very caverns. Brother William begged me to walk away, but oh, I was crazy with greed. I wanted Marissa. I wanted the gold. But now William got between me and Thomas and reached into his coat. I thought he was going for a gun, so I shot him, my little brother. And as he fell, I saw what he was reaching for, a Bible. In that instant, I renounced evil and embraced the word of God. Oh, we left the gold we knew it was cursed. And I dedicated my life to serving the Lord. I tried to make amends, but my sins were too great. Anger, hate, pride, arrogance. Oh, Lord, I humbly accept that the time has come for me to offer recompense for my transgressions.
destroy it.
bad, preacher. Not bad. Ty and the McClydes were all bad hombres, but not as bad as you. Juarez told me that the farmer we killed in Hope was your brother. You know, once the McClydes were done breaking all his fingers, I shot him in the guts, and I gotta say, he took a long time to die. Let's see how long you take. something else for you. Try shooting this down. told me to run, and maybe I should. I, I could take off with the gold. No one would ever find me. Ray'll save the girl. He don't need me. 
Probably better if I never see her again. Sure, I'll be on the run, but it's time I'll be rich. So why am I still standing here? Maybe I'm just tired of running. Maybe it's just time for me to stop being afraid. Calm water tried to help me and now he's dead. Just like my mom, probably Reverend Ray if I just walk away. Nah, this time I'm taking a stand. Cause if I don't, if I run, fear will dog me wherever I go and I'll never be free. Senor, you want to kill the bandits in the fort? Hold on. Hey, get out of here before you get hurt. They killed my father. If you're going in there, take this and kill them all. Adios, senor. No, that's where they held me and Molly. She's still there. I hope there's water in that cistern. I'll finish you off. where they held me and Molly. She's still there. I hope there's water in that cistern. Die, you bastard.
worked up the strength in you, mijo. You make your papa proud. Listen, it's not too late to fix things. Together we will be rich, and if you want the girl, she's yours. You have my mother murdered, you lying son of a bitch. I loved her. She betrayed me. I've had this gun since before you were born. It's just like mine, mijo. You can stand by my side or fight me. It's up to you. If you give it to me, I'll kill you. So be it. We each have three bullets. More than enough. I cannot.
Thank your lord. Where's Juarez? He's dead. No time, it's not safe here. Follow me. Wally. Move it! Where should have gotten out, Padre? <laughs> You've made a mistake, Billy. A big mistake. I'm wearing armor as well. So throw out your gun and the bow. Do it! Well, gracias. I know, Billy. Your mother serviced Manson, Ty, and both McLeods before she died. I told them to treat her like a whore. Because that's what she was. And once I'm through killing you, this little puta will pleasure me too. Adios, mijo. failed you. All my life I have committed the sin of pride. Everything that has happened here is my fault. Lord, I have no right to ask you this, but please, please don't allow them to die because of me. If I only had a chance... failed you. All my life I have committed the sin of pride. Everything that has happened here is my fault. Lord, I have no right to ask you this, but please, please don't allow them to die because of me. If I only had a chance... Back at the ranch, Molly asked me why I was running if I was innocent. Truth is, I've been running all my life. Running from everybody and everything. 
calm water said I couldn't run forever, and he was right. Truth is, I'm tired of being afraid. I'm done fed up with it. Fed up with how I've been treated all my life, like a nothing, like a nobody. And you know what? I got no one to blame for that but myself. Because I believed them. Thought they were right about me. But they weren't right. I'm not nobody. I'm Billy Candle. And I'm done running. If you don't like that, you can go to hell.